Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from the VIB Rouge sale and I love watching other people's haul videos and so I figured I will film this so that I can show you guys. So the VIB Rouge sale only happens twice a year. That is, let me just move my sandal out of the way. Anyways, so it only happens twice a year. This year, it was this month, this month obviously, and then there's another one that happens in November, and I think November is 20% off, and this month, it was only 15, but still, a discount is a discount. So I'm going to show you, and I'm filming in my room, well, me and Isaac's room. The other one is just my makeup room, but um, the lighting there kind of sucks. I mean, this lighting sucks too, but it's better than that room. I think I'm going to figure out which bulb I can buy so that it's a little bit better. But I just need lights anyway for when I film at night when there's no natural light. So, um, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I picked up, well, let me just show you the little samples that they give us. So, VIB Rouge and I think VIB members too, they get this bag full of goodies. But I think for VIB Rouge, the stuff that's inside it is a little bit different. So I went twice, obviously, and so I got two of them. And the the stuff that was inside this bag, I think I already put it away. But basically, you get a Formula X nail polish. So good thing I got two different colors. I got a green one and this purple one, which I think is pretty nice. And I've never tried Formula X before, so I'm excited to try that. And also, like little samples like this that you always get shampoos and stuff. And this nude detox brightening powder wash. Just things that, um, which I actually like because I actually do try them sometimes. Like, especially the shampoo. I've tried this one for my other package, and honestly, I don't like it because I don't like the smell. It smells weird, but I don't know. I tried it anyways. Um, then I get like the Daisy Marc Jacobs um, perfume smell and then the Shiseido uh, Power Infusing Concentrate face stuff, which I probably will not try. This Puff Off thing by Benefit, which I will probably try because I've heard good things about it. Then this Nude Omega Treatment Milk, which I've never heard of, so I'll probably try that too. And then buxom lip cream in the color pink lady which i love when they give lip stuff even though i'm allergic to it but it's usually like a good size like this one is that big and i mean it's a pretty good size and you can put it in your purse and it's actually perfect oh god hold on a minute moving on and then this one I got for the 100 points perk it's a living proof style lab instant texture mist and I wanted to try that because, as you can see, my hair is like so fine. And sometimes I want a little bit of texture. So I wanted to try that. Sorry my face is kind of oily. Every time I use this lighting in the background, which is just like a white lamp, it makes my face look like that. Even though I, it's not really oily in person, so it's weird. But anyways, so that's all the samples that I got. And then I built up so many points throughout the year that, um... I redeemed it for this Bare Minerals Brighten Contour and Highlight deal and um, it comes with the Well Rested Eye Brightener, the Illuminator, no the Warmth All Over the Color Face and then um, the Clear Radiance All Over the Color Face and a lip gloss and then a little brush. So I really got this because I wanted to try the Well Rested Brightener because I've heard so many good things about it. So I got that. And then I guess let's move on to the products that I picked up. The first thing I want to talk about are two. Well, let's talk about this one first. This is the Javin Shit Whatever. It's a loose powder. And so I heard really good things about this. But I mainly heard it from Casey Holmes. She talked about this keeping her matte. And I really wanted to try it out. And literally I had to get this online because my Sephora did sell this. So when I watch her video and she mentioned something, I got it right away. And it's really cool. It just like, first it looks like that. 
And then it does come with like a little powder thing, which I've used it so much. It's probably in my room somewhere. But you open it, you just twist it like that, and then it's just like loose powder. If you can see that. And it looks like that. And so far, I've been using it, and it works really well. And the only thing that I don't like about loose powders is that it's kind of messy. But um, I like it. So I don't really bring it everywhere, but I do touch up like in the afternoon when I come home from work and I need to go somewhere else or something. But I am going to like try to keep this as long as I can because it was not cheap. <laughs> but then I got this one, the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. And it's the translucent powder and it's similar to that one. It's supposed to keep you matte too, but it, it looks like this. And it doesn't come with the little... Um, powder padding thing that it came with the other one that I got but it looks like this and this is a lot wider and this works too and I love it and it does give me a lot of powder so I've been trying both of them out and I don't know which one I like better I probably should do a comparison maybe one day but I don't know so those were the first two I got then I got, I've been into contouring so much, I don't know. I mean, I haven't even really tried contouring, like, for real. Like, I only try, I only contour when I go to work, but I really wanted to try to contour with, like, cream-based products. So, I got this, the Cover FX Contouring Palette, and originally, I got a sample of this, and I tried it, and I really like it. Like, it's so easy to blend, and I got the light to medium g which means it has more of a golden undertone and i haven't tried it yet but that's what it looks like and i had the lady try it on me at the store and i really really did like it she tried first i tried they tried the one that was p it was like light to medium p but that one didn't really show up on me so i went again and tried the gold and this one worked yeah. way better so I got that and then I've been eyeing this for such a long time. It's the Mirage Instamark um, contour. It's a light filtering contour powder. And hold on. This is the cutest thing. First of all, the packaging is so cute. It's like so sleek and like black and just so nice. It could fit easily in my pocket. I mean, not my pocket, but like my purse. And first of all, I like it because, see, I'm not even greasy when I look in the mirror right now. I don't know why it looks greasy in the, in the camera, but it comes with a huge mirror. And then it has this little protective thing. And I've used it already, so it's kind of messy, but it just looks like that. And this is so soft. It like seriously easily blends in the skin. And I love it. It's so soft. It's so finely milled. And this is awesome. So I've been using this for quite a while now. Well, I wouldn't say quite a while. Like a week. And I love it so far. And if you have a chance or if you're curious, you should try it in the store and see if you like it. Because I like the Kat Von D one, but I can't bring that. I can't put that in my purse because it's just too much. Plus, I like the two colored ones because, you know, it's... For your skin tone and because like when a contour palette comes with six different colors you don't really use the darker colors and so it's kind of like a waste you don't even use some of the lighter colors because it just doesn't go with your face color with your skin tone so I like the dual ones better because you know that you're gonna use both of them and you know you're gonna use the whole palette so I got that one and for that I um, when the lady was doing it to my face to like Putting it on my face at the store. She was using this um, Sephora angled contour. It's a pro angled contour blush plat and number 75. And it's basically just an angled brush. And I love it because it's like perfect for cream contouring or cream foundation or anything. And it just looks like that. So I picked that one up and I like that it comes with like a little protector thing so when you travel it doesn't get dirty and it doesn't get everything else dirty. And then speaking of brushes, I also picked up this Sephora brand Pro Contour 
blush brush number 74 and I know that they're discontinuing this and coming up with another brush number 79 and I don't know what that looks like because I didn't ask this one looks like this and I use this for the Marc Jacobs one because it's for powder mainly and it's just like perfect to like chisel your cheekbones and I really like it it fits perfectly like it's a contour you know next I got this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and like I said everyone was talking about this too and I got it in the number two then the number one seemed like really really light and I don't know I just didn't like it this one was said to be a dupe of Whisper of Guilt if you missed out on that one and it just looks like this and the bottom color I wouldn't use it as a bronzer it's more of a, like a terracotta blush bronzer I feel like um, I haven't really played around with it but I do like the top and I want to show you swatch like look how gorgeous that is and then the bottom one so I just thought that's really really pretty so pick that up too and then I'm finally glad that I'm doing this video because I can just put everything away because I've kind of been using it for the past week and I really really wanted to just like organize everything and put it away but I wanted to do a video so yeah and then the next two things that I got were these okay in all my videos I really think I mentioned that I'm allergic to a lot of lipsticks or chapsticks but I got a sample of this lolly balm by benefit and I'm actually not and I've been using this for like two months so I picked that one up and then I picked another one in Posy Balm and honestly I don't like Posy Balm I don't know why I got it I should have just gotten two of these but I mean I don't mind it I'll just use it so it looks like that this is Posy Balm and that's what it looks like I'll probably put on some right now because my lips are getting dry so I got that and the other one is not even in the box anymore because I think it's in my purse because I loved it so much it's just I use it right away another one that got me honestly it got me because of the packaging but once I tried it I really do like it so it's the new Tarte high performance naturals empower flower Amazonian clay collectors palette and it looks like this is the case and the palette looks like this and it's so cute it's like so springy and it comes with a big mirror and then here are the colors and seriously it's so smooth and blendable and I love it it's barely any fallout and I love it and plus I really wanted it because of the Park Avenue Princess bronzer that came with it and then it also comes with empowering and trustworthy blushes and then eight eyeshadows so I pick that one up and then another thing that I really was looking for I tried to get it online and they were sold out probably because of Jaclyn Hill honestly but it's the Arden C in eyeliners and this one I got in the travel section, like right by the cashier. And you guys, well, first of all, it comes with two black and this blue. I had no choice. I really don't like this blue, but the black one is so much worth it because it does not smudge. Like it's so smooth. Let me try it like this. It's like so smooth. I didn't want to like press it on and then it like doesn't go anywhere. Seriously, like, it does not go anywhere. You have to really, like, really, really, really wash your hands for it to go anywhere. And it's waterproof. So I really wanted to try that. And it says, it's called the Modster Eyeliner Travel Size Duo. And I really, really want the full size one. Whenever it comes back online, please let me know down below. Or else I have them email me to when it's in restock. And then um, I usually get it right away. So, finally, well not finally, I have two more. I had to get this because I ran out. 
this is like my favorite blush cleaner because it smells good and then oh yeah this is the benefit and beauty blender kit so my my beauty blender like i use the same one every day so to in total before this i have three beauty blenders but the my two pink ones they're like really old so i had to get new ones because then i have a black one and i use that every day and so i was like i just need new ones and then, so i saw this set and i already used one because you know when you see new beauty blenders like you gotta use it right away so it comes with the pink one and then a white one and i started using the white one and it also comes with this it's the professional deluxe size and this is a ten dollar value so i wanted to get that and then with this benetint cheek and lip stain which i probably won't use and i'll probably get give it away because i want to do a giveaway soon but i'm like still looking for stuff to actually give away so that might be in it so this was a good deal price wise and so i picked that up and then last uh, two things i got this hand foot i mean hand foot hot hand food hand food hand lotion and i honestly don't like the scent i like the other one better i actually don't like any of the, any of it there's two scents this one is the sugar rat sugar crush and I, this is not my favorite but i like the way it makes my hands feel like not greasy or anything so i wanted to try that but really i don't even really like it but i just got it anyways and then lastly i got this anastasia brow powder duo in ebony and since I dyed my hair black, I wanted something darker for my eyebrows. And so I just picked this one up. And it just looks like this. So it's just a little bit darker. And then this, these last two things is not, this, I didn't get it at the VIB sale. But when I went to the Sephora and JCPenney, I saw that they had it there. And I didn't see it in the real like freestanding Sephora at the mall, but I saw it in the JCPenney one. But um, the Tahiti Bronzer Laguna, um, the one that comes with the mini Ida brush. So I got this from NARS online a while ago. And the Ida brush alone is $55. And I was like, no way, I'm not spending $55 on that. But if you get this, it comes with a mini Ida brush. And this whole thing was like, I think... $60 so look how big the bronzer you get with so like this is a really good deal I think so they have that now at um, JCPenney Sephora and I just thought I'd let you guys know and then another thing I picked up from Target was this Garnier BB cream in medium to dark and I'm using it right now and I, I've been in my makeup for the whole day today so i really do like it though i think it stays on my skin it doesn't budge and for a bb cream i think it's really good but i did use some um, powder to set it and stuff and i cannot explain to you why i look greasy right now but i'm really not looking greasy i don't know i think it's lighting seriously but um i really like this so i picked that up at target so that concludes my vib rouge sale and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys um, got some ideas of what to pick up and next time you go to Sephora if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll answer as best I can and um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye